Hello and welcome to Zephyr's PSM Training Echo Tutorial. In Session 7, we'll review the OmniSense Software Analysis Mode, Graphs. This session will provide an introduction to OmniSense Analysis Mode, provide an overview of the screen layout and work area, review sessions and filters list, select sessions analysis and graphs. Example workout sessions, both graphs and bar charts, will be shown. To get started, click on your OmniSense Analysis icon. Reminder, for a quick reference, you can always reference our manual by clicking on the question mark icon at the top right hand corner of your screen. In this chapter, we will overview the screen layout, the work area, the sessions, using the filter list selecting sessions, selecting variables, and graphs, as well as show an example of both a trending graph and a bar chart. When using OmniSense Live, the athlete's data will already be saved into the analysis software. You can also log data, in which I will show you later on, on how to upload that data from the device. When looking for a particular session, you can find that session in the legend here in this box. You can also search for a particular workout by using this filter list. We can search by team, by individual, by particular session name, by subsession, and using a date range. Once you have found the session you would like to analyze, simply click on that session, drag and drop into the legend. Next, we can select up the two variables that we would like to analyze. These variables can be found in the, in the select time variables table. You can select up to two. For an example, we'll select heart rate and heart rate percent. Keep in mind, we can zoom in on any particular set of data as well as take this cursor and pinpoint the exact value known in the upper left hand corner of your table. You can compare and contrast up to 16 different individuals or up to 16 different sessions of the same individual to track progress over time. Next, I will show you how to use the bar charts. To access the bar charts, click on the summary tab with the three bars. Similar to using the lined or trend graph, we can select an individual from our session list, drag and drop into the legend. And just like the line graph, we can choose up to two summary variables. As an example, we will select max heart rate and average heart rate. Using the bar charts, this is a more visual tool a strength and conditioning coach can use. Similar to previously, we can choose up to 16 athletes to analyze, or one can choose 16 sessions of the same athlete to monitor progress.